defeating Titus the Lavastone Golem, you acquire the Forbidden Relic, which casts you into an upside-down realm full of demons and corrupted magic. Will I be able to survive the Forbidden Curses? What special abilities will these demons have? And can I defeat the gatekeepers of this realm? Oh my gosh, what happened? Where the heck even am I? The first thing I noticed was the skies were green. That was not a good sign. Anyways, I harvested a bunch of wood, and then I looked around and saw a demon-like pig. Yep, pigs don't normally have horns. Let's step away from that guy over there. Oh, okay, yep, there's another one here. Okay. Using the wood, I crafted myself a demon slayer blade and started attacking these demon-like pigs. I noticed this sword had a special ability, and every time I hit it, it looked like it had some sort of bleed effect, which was pretty effective. It just did a bunch of extra damage. After eliminating that pig, I picked up an essence that said it contains the soul of a demon. What the heck is wrong with these pigs? In the distance, I saw what seemed to be a normal pig, and then suddenly it morphed into a demon pig. I had no idea how that even happened, but I figured it'd be in my best interest to eliminate all of these demon-like pigs. After eliminating all the pigs that I could find, I traveled back to my cave and spent the night in there. And in the morning of day two, I figured I haven't really done too much traveling, so I figured I'd travel around and see what I could find. And shortly after I began traveling, I found these weird-looking flowers, and as soon as I right-clicked it, a bunch of particles started appearing everywhere. And suddenly, the flower dropped on the ground. I picked it up, and it said a common herb found in lush areas can be consumed quickly to heal a little or crafted into a more potent form. So by the sounds of it, these flowers are almost equivalent to what seems to be an instant health, so these could actually really come into handy once I get into some battles. After farming a bunch of silver leaves, I also farmed a bunch of watermelons that were laying around. After spending the day gathering some silver leaves and watermelons, I decided to head back into my base and spend the night. On day three, I began mining a bunch of cobblestone, created all my cobblestone tools, smelted some stone, and created the hardened demon slayer blade. It seems to have a pretty cool ability as well. The remainder of day three was spent pretty efficiently. I went to a nearby forest and harvested all the wood so I could make my base. I figured since I was in a demon-only world, it would probably make the most sense to make some sort of bunker hidden away in this mountain. I wasn't sure what kind of crazy demons I was going to run into, which is exactly why I built this bunker on top of a hill. I knew it would be a lot harder for the demons to find me if I was based up inside of a hill, so I cleared all the interior, took away all the dirt and cobblestone, and smoothed it all out with stone. And speaking of demons, and crazy monsters, today's video is sponsored by Monster Legends. Monster Legends is a free-to-play game available on both Android and iOS. You start by building a world for your monsters to live in and fill it with habitats. Then you are ready to start collecting monsters and building up your army. In Monster Legends, there's hundreds of different monsters to collect. You can collect monsters with six different rarities and elements like fire, water, nature, earth, and many more. But the best part is you can breed monsters of different elements and rarities to create a cool new species. The combinations are limitless. Try something crazy like breeding a water and a fire monster and let me know what kind of out of this world creatures come out of that. There's also super cool monsters created for the biggest YouTubers like Dream, Mr. Beast, Jacksepticeye, and so many more. Level up your monsters, Choose which skills you want them to have and put your strategy to the test in action-packed battles. If you're a competitive player like I am, there's so many different PvP modes where you can conquer the adventure map, explore the dungeons, or even fight in real time against your friends. Download the game through the link in the description and you'll receive a special reward worth $30 for free. You'll get 50,000 food, the epic monster Kaori, 300,000 gold, and 10 gems. But remember, this is a limited time offer available only until October 25th. So go ahead, click that link in the description, download the game, collect your reward, and get a head start. After finishing my base, I walked outside and suddenly... Hello, mortal. You look out of place in these lands. Wait, what? Who the heck are you? My name is Valen, and I am a Valkyrie seeking to purify the demonic lands of their curse. I came here to see if you would be willing to help take back one of those camps from the Demon Horde. You will be heavily rewarded. Uh, okay, well that was weird. He just disappeared in front of my eyes. Well, it looks like we're gonna have to help the Valkyries to take out some demons. So, if I'm gonna be any help at all, I figured I better go mining and get myself some armor, because I am not gonna be much help with no armor. I also went ahead and used my special ability that this demon sword gave me, and it's actually pretty OP. These things can't even get anywhere near me, and I can just kill them instantly. So, after that, I spent the rest of the day gathering a bunch of iron and coal. That way, I can create myself a full set of iron armor. I then created an iron block, combining that with 
with the sticks, some cobblestone, and iron, I created the Iron Demon Slayer Katana. As you can see with this sword, I have the ability to pick up creatures and a bunch of orbs appear around them, and then they just die. Yeah, don't ask me. It's pretty OP, though. Yeah, right, little guy. You thought you were gonna get me? Yeah, I have this OP sword. Not today, buddy. I spent all the day seven traveling, and I came across this toxic-like biome, and all the trees were netherwort and soul sand. What the heck? Shortly after entering this suspicious biome, I found this giant castle-like build. I needed to investigate it. Upon entry, I was greeted by this red and green demon-like creature that started attacking me. Good thing I had this ability that allowed me to throw them up in the air and take them out that way. The only issue was there was quite a lot of these demons. There were some purple ones. There seemed to be some even mini iron golem demons. While running away from a huge group, I picked up the iron golem demon and sent him into the sky. I guess it's a good thing I have these silver leaves. These things keep healing me. They're kind of like instant health potions, just not as strong. I didn't even know this was possible, but I was able to pick up multiple things at a time and I eliminated eliminated both of them in the air. Now that was awesome. After lining up all the demons, I spammed my ability and eliminated the remaining demons. I found myself a chest and when I opened it, I got a bunch of bread, iron, and some more silver leaves. These will definitely come into handy. After looting the chest, I saw another demon who was too far away for my abilities to work. And when I went to go chase him, he disappeared. What? Where the heck did this demon go? That is not good. It's probably going to tell all of its friends about me now. I decided to scavenge the village to see what kind of loot I could find. I ended up finding a diamond, some some Bruce weed and a bunch more silver leaves. I'm gonna take that. While scavenging, I ended up finding quite a few different chests with a bunch of different loot inside of it, some more diamonds, and inside this chest, I found an apothecary scope. I wonder what that's gonna be used for. After looting most of the village, I walked into the final house and I ended up finding what looked to be a skeletal bird. That looks insane. And just past this bird, there was another chest and inside of it, there was an apothecary bottle. I think with these apothecary items, I'm gonna be able to combine my flowers and make them stronger. I didn't want to leave the bird here alone, so I threw down some Bruce weeds, and it seems like the bird actually likes it, so I was able to bring it outside of the house, and we started traveling back to my base. I love the look of my Badline cosmetics. Make sure to check them out. Link in the description below. While me and my new friend were traveling back to my base, I ran into a pond what looked to be filled with demon flamingos. By the looks of it, these flamingos didn't seem to be too aggressive. They were just eating some fish in the water by the looks of it, so I decided to take the sugar cane and get the heck out of here. Almost back. Oh my gosh. Thank you, demon hunter. You made much quicker work of those demons than anyone I've ever seen. You have potential. However, you need some help. Take this as a reward. What the heck is this? Wait, uh... Sir, where'd you go? Okay, well, I guess he's gone. I guess I need to figure out what this does. Anyways, the very next morning after arriving home, I smelted up some of my glass and I put some oak wood in there and combined the apothecary items to create an apothecary table. Okay, this is pretty cool. You can call me Bill Nye the Science Guy at this point. I combined my silver leaves with some cobblestone to create a silver leaf bloom. A process version of silver leaf, this is an incredibly vital healing tool as well as a brewing ingredient later on. After gathering a bunch more silver leaf blooms, I went ahead and gathered the glass that I had smelted and filled in all the slots. Now I have some windows. It looks pretty good. I then walked outside of my base, got my demonic soul tablet, and when I right-clicked it, I gained a heart. These are really OP. And as you can see, I have two extra hearts to my name now. This is gonna come into handy. After making the rest of my silver leaf blooms, I walked outside and saw another Valkyrie coming at me. Greetings, mortal. My brethren have told me about your accomplishments fending off the demon village from spreading. I believe you may have the potential to take on a more daunting opponent, the Pit Lord. The Pit Lord? That just sounds evil. Are you sure I'm ready for something like that? You're the best I've seen in centuries. Travel west until you find the land of the pillars. Here you will find the Pit Lord. Like usual, we will reward you greatly. Good luck. Okay, th- wait. Okay, yeah, I guess I'm just not used to them disappearing every time. Okay, well, it looks like we need to take down the Pit Lord. And for the remainder of the day, I went ahead and started building a little home that we can keep our skeleton bird friend. I still don't have a name for this bird, so comment down below if you have any suggestions. All right, little birdie, c come up here. Come take a look at your new home. L look what I got you here, buddy. L look at this. We got a nice little water area and a little platform that you can sit on. Hopefully you like it up here a little bit better. And as soon as I turned around, I noticed two other skeletal birds coming to hang out. I guess I did a pretty good job building this home. They seem to like it here. Since I don't have a permanent food source yet and I have a few birds to care for, I went ahead and created myself a nice little wheat farm and a sugarcane farm. I then dedicated the next couple days to go mining. And not too far away, I found myself a little cave entrance and by the looks of it, there's some sort of spawner in here. I went ahead, opened the first chest, got a bunch of iron ingots, some gunpowder, and it looked to be it's a spider spawner. So we're going to be able to use this to get a bunch of experience 
experience. The second chest just had a bunch of string, a name tag, and some gunpowder. I then began mining and exploring the rest of this cave. I got a bunch of coal, iron, and of course, I found some diamonds. I also needed some obsidian to make an enchantment table. After eliminating that skeleton, I looked down in the cave and saw a bunch more demons. They must have had some sort of home in here. So I started by taking out that iron golem, and I jumped down to try to get a few hits and use some of my abilities to take down some of these demons. I then used my ability and picked both of them up and shoved them against the wall and did a lot of damage to them, but the other ones kind of jumped me, and I took a decent amount of damage, so I had to be careful here, pick this guy up, throw him against the wall, and just live with 3 HP. And it's a good thing I have these silver leaf blooms that heal me a bunch, because I'm gonna need them. Upon entry, it was guarded by two demon iron golems, so I got a few hits on them, and I used my special ability to pick both of them up and launching them both against the wall, and I was able to eliminate both of them doing so. After eliminating the demons, I looted the chest, got a couple diamonds, a saddle, and some iron ingots. I then traveled back to my mob spawner, crafted my enchantment table, and eliminated some of the spiders to get some experience. I then went ahead, took off all my armor, and started enchanting it with as much protection one as I could get. I got three out of four pieces protection one, and after traveling back home, I went ahead and harvested all my farms and replanted everything. And on day 18, I went ahead and crafted myself the Diamond Demon Slayer Blade. This is going to be insane. I also threw some sharpness one on that, and as you can see, this sword sucks anything nearby into this area, and it does a bunch of damage. Now that I was prepared, I spent the next couple days traveling far west. And on day 20, I finally found this giant ravine area filled with demon creatures, and this is where the pit lord resides. Now, I just have to take this thing out. Let's do this. I checked my surrounding areas, and upon entry, I already had a few demons running at me, so I went ahead and used my diamond demon slayer ability and sucked all of them into the hole, and I was able to take these things down pretty easily. After eliminating a few more demons, I finally was face to face with the pit lord. Foolish mortal, I am in another realm of power compared to that silly village you destroyed. You made a mistake picking up that forbidden relic and coming here. Be gone. <sighs> it's just like that, the fight against the pit lord has finally started. I got a good hit on him and I backed up to eat some silver leaves to heal up and he spit out a bunch of fire with toxic poison on the ground. I went back in for a few more hits and suddenly he smashed the ground, sending me flying in the air. It's a good thing I have a bunch of these silver leaf blooms, otherwise I would have been dead there. He's almost down to quarter HP and suddenly he smashed the ground again, sending me flying. That does a lot of damage. I'm only just getting started. Wait, what does he mean? He's only just getting started. Does that mean he's gonna get stronger or something? Okay, this is not good. And as I was getting him lower, it seemed like he was developing some new abilities. He started launching this green stuff at me, and suddenly, he raised his arm up in the air, and a bunch of green meteors came smashing in the ground, spawning a demon mech. <laughs> I am inevitable. I went ahead and used my ability and picked up the demon mech and sent him into the sky. He was not gonna be an issue anymore. And with a couple hits, I was able to take out that other demon mech. So, I charged back in at the pit lord. <laughs> you will die. He launched me back into some poison, but I was able to get out of that and eat some bread to regenerate, and I charged back in, getting him to three quarters of HP. This is definitely winnable. I got a good amount of damage, and he knocked me up in the air, getting me to four HP. I was so close to dying there. As he was getting lower, he raised his arm again and summoned a bunch more of these green meteors. Hopefully no more mechs are here. I looked around, and there was a mech in the distance, so I needed to run past the pit lord and take out this mech before he does too much damage to me. And the mech hit me and did nearly five hearts of damage. Damage. This thing does insane damage, so I had to take this thing down before I had to fight the pit lord. Otherwise, I would have been toast. And with one last hit, that mech was easily destroyed, and I went ahead and unleashed a bunch of damage onto the pit lord. Oh, they are coming for you. You will never defeat my, my mess. And he just disappeared, and it looked like he dropped something on the ground, and when I picked it up, it was a demon relic. Wait a second, what did he mean by they are coming for you, my masters? Wait, is there potentially more demon bosses that I need to fight? Well, I guess we're gonna have to stay tuned to find out. While I was reading the relic, a book appeared in my inventory. The title was Pit Lord's Quest, and the book read, A mortal has stumbled into our realm. Eliminate him before he has the chance to grow stronger. Now that book was a little bit suspicious. It almost seemed like somebody was ordering the pit lord to take me out, which means there's another person I'm gonna have to take out. I then arrived back at base to meet a Valkyrie. I knew you had it in you. 
we all did. You radiate an energy never seen before in this realm. Never have I seen more potential to take out the demon lords. Here is your reward. Please be careful. The more you consume, the more in touch with the demons you become. Fight the urges. He almost made it sound like that if I eat enough of these that I could be possessed by a demon? Okay, that's not possible, right? I, I hope not. Anyways, I got the two extra hearts and it's time to go to bed. And in the morning of day 23, I went ahead and tore apart pretty much my entire base. And as you can see, I started upgrading it. I figured now that I eliminated the Pit Lord and I'm getting a lot stronger, my base also needed an upgrade. After completing the lookout tower and adding some exterior walls, I went ahead and created some chest rooms. I took apart my birdhouse and completed the flooring. I made myself a smelting area, an enchantment area. And as you can see in the corner, I started taking this apart and adding a glass dome. This is where my birds were going to live. Although my birds went out hunting this morning and haven't returned yet, they're going to come back to a nice little base makeover, that's for sure. In the morning of day 26, after upgrading my base, I wanted to go out and explore some more of this treacherous terrain. Let's go see what we can get into. Not too far away from my base, I was running in F5 mode and I saw something green in a cave, so I needed to go check it out. Okay, what the heck are these? Are these some sort of shards? They, they seem to look like shards. Okay, let's see what this does. I saw a bunch of particles floating around and the shard dropped on the ground. When I picked it up, it was a cave crystal. Cave crystal has absorbed the power of the demons is able to spawn more from its core. What the heck does that even mean? I wonder if I'm able to use these shards to create some sort of spawner or something. Once I arrive back at base, I grab the demonic essence and I put the shards, demonic essence, and iron ingots in and I was able to create spawners. It didn't even let me know which type of spawners I had. I just knew that I had some so I went ahead and started mining out this entire area to create myself a spawner room. And after placing the spawners down, I realized that it was a skeleton and a zombie spawner. I'll take that. I wanted to try out a new recipe in the apothecary table, so I combined some silver weeds, bruce weeds, and iron ingots, and I got a demon soul tablet. Wait, I actually have a huge brain. This should give me an extra heart. Wait. I just lost a heart. Not all the experiments are good for you. Are you t Oh my gosh, I'm an idiot. I then got some more XP and a Valkyrie approached. Nice to finally get to meet you. I have an idea that may help you later in your travels. Seek out the mystical demon hippo and collect his soul. It will unlock a powerful craft for you. Also, I can give you some more health. Good luck. Okay, so apparently there's a demon hippo I have to eliminate, and he's gonna give me more health if I do so. That sounds like a pretty good deal to me. I stayed at my base for the remainder of the night, got a good night's sleep, and in the morning of day 29, I began my journey to find this demon hippo. And while I was running, I heard some sort of noise. But master, my loyalty lies only with you, and I am no weakling like the pit lord. I can do what you need. The only way I can trust you is if you can slaughter this ever-growing powerful mortal and send him to the Shadow Realm. Keep the secrets of our world safe and I may entrust you with the demon army. I will not let you down, master. Okay, yep, I'm not going that way because clearly somebody over there is wanting to kill me, so let's get the heck out of here. And while I was traveling back to my base, I saw this insanely cool rainbow tree. I had to check it out. As I got closer, I saw the demon hippo. I used my ability to suck him into place and got a decent amount of damage on him with a couple of hits. Was not very happy by the noises it was making. I charged back in, got a good hit, and it just did a bunch of damage to me, so I had to back off and use some of my silver leaf blooms to heal myself back up. After healing up, I jumped back in, doing a ton of damage to the demon hippo, and using my ability to suck it in one last time, I went in and eliminated the demon hippo. Okay, well, that was easier than I thought, and what is this? A demonic hippo soul. Well, I got it. While traveling back home, I saw this massive red beacon of light. I needed to check it out. Okay, what in the world even is this place? What I didn't know is I just walked into a massive pit filled with demons. Oh no, yep, this had bad news written all over it and I fell right into the trap. Okay, let's see what we can do here, come on. They were doing a ton of damage, so I had to spam eat a lot of my silver leaf blooms and there seemed to be so many of them. I sucked them all up using my ability and did a bunch of damage to a lot of them, but had to run away and eat some food to regenerate some health. After some back and forth, I eliminated the final demon and and I needed to figure out what else was here. I broke my way outside and crossed this bridge only to find a bunch more demons waiting for me on the other side. So 
so. I picked a bunch of them up, threw them up into the air, but it was too much to handle. I had to get out of here. It seemed like their numbers just kept getting bigger and bigger. This was too much to handle. Since I was severely outnumbered, I ran across this bridge and blocked myself into this castle. Hopefully they can't get me in here. I made my way up to the higher levels of this castle, but it seemed like it was also guarded by a bunch of demons up here. I knew I had to take these out if I was going to survive. I used my ability sucking all of the demons into the same area and started doing a ton of damage using all of my abilities. And with a couple more attacks, I was able to eliminate the remaining demons inside of this castle. Now I figured I'd wait up here for a couple days and hope that the rest of them leave because they seem to be camping outside. On day 35, I broke on outside to see if they had left, and there was still a ton of them, and it seems like they have multiplied severely. I knew if I was going to win this, I'd have to be really smart. I wasn't going to be able to kill them all with just my sword. Okay, here goes nothing. And just like that, I used my ability to suck up all the demons above the lava, and they all ended up falling directly into the lava. Oh my gosh, it's actually working! This is actually winnable! And just a few moments later, the final demon had finally vanished into the lava. Now that is what I'm talking about. I think on that note, it's time to get out of here before any more demons find out I'm here. I then traveled back to my base. When I arrived, the Valkyrie was back. Congratulations on acquiring the artifact from the demonic hippo. A last camp got overrun. Would we be able to help you build up your compound and fortify it to have a handful of us move in with you? Well, I suppose it wouldn't hurt. Give me a couple days to do some base upgrades, then I'll happily house some of your demon hunter friends. Thank you eternally. Here, take this. Oh, sweet. Thank you, Whisperwind. I appreciate it. Okay, I guess, I guess he's gone. Well, I guess this is going to give me more health, like he said. And yep, look at that. We just got three more hearts. This is definitely going to come in handy. I then went ahead and spent the next couple days upgrading my base. I figured since I'm going to be housing a bunch of demon hunters, I figured I need to make a separate place for them to live because my base won't be big enough for them all. So I built a pathway leading all the way down, burned down some trees, and created a nice wall to protect them in the nighttime. After I finished the wall design, I then added some fences and a little bridge, and I started creating a few tents that all the demon hunters are going to live in. As you can see, I finally finished in the nighttime, and I think I did a pretty good job. We got the nice wall. It's all lit up nicely. Now it's just time to go to bed. The very next morning when I woke up, I walked outside, and it looks like all the demon hunters had moved in. I gotta go say hi. Okay, I didn't anticipate there being this many demon hunters, but there definitely seems to be a bunch of them, so I guess you could say my base is fairly protected now that I have all these guys with me. Anyway, that afternoon, I was just monitoring everything, and when I turned around, I saw some mysterious creature in the distance, so I needed to go get it and see what it was. I ended up chasing this creature for a couple days, and I ended up running into this massive mystical tree. Yeah, this thing is crazy. It ended up outrunning me, but I managed to find some weird flowers that I had never seen before, so I figured I'd go ahead and harvest them and see what they even were. After harvesting the flower, it disappeared and dropped on the ground beneath. It was called a plant bloom, and it was a mysterious plant, so I ate it. Wait, what? I just lost another heart. Dude, this is the second time that's happened to me. I gotta be more careful. And the very next day after arriving back at home, I woke up, and I saw a massive demon approaching my town. Okay, this is not good. I gotta go down and try to save my demon hunters. Not only was there a massive demon in the back, but he had a bunch of minions as well charging into my town. I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to hold them off for too much longer. There's too many of them. The entire time I was attacked Attacking the other demons, this massive demon was griefing my entire base I had just built. And at this point, I was running really low on heals, and it was doing way too much damage. I had to evacuate. I have no idea who the heck this demon is, but I'm gonna get my revenge on him. Just wait. I then traveled to a safer distance, gathered some materials, and started creating a temporary base underground. I didn't want to invest too much time into this base, as I won't be staying here for long. And for the remainder of day 44, I had to travel back to my base, and I wanted to scavenge some of the loot. Oh my my gosh, that demon really put a dent into things. It seems like all my demon hunters are gone. Hopefully, they were able to get out alive. My birds must have sensed something bad was going to happen, which is why they likely didn't come back. I then went ahead, took what supplies I could get, and got right out of here. And while I was traveling back to my temporary base, these demon-like giraffes started sliding up to me. Yeah, they weren't even walking. What kind of cursed world am I in? Thankfully, these demon giraffes were pretty easy to kill, as I didn't really have much healing left. And instead of traveling back to my base, I found a mine and I figured I might as well go try and get myself some full diamond armor at this point. I'm gonna need it. And real quick, if you guys are enjoying the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel to be a part of the team. While I was returning home, I saw another Valkyrie outside my base. 
loss at our outpost was devastating. Those of us who survived are scattered. You must get revenge for us. Please slay Illidan. Ah, so Illidan's the one that attacked my base. Okay, but I don't even know where he is, and I'm still trying to recover from that last attack. This is our last chance. Illidan is about to earn the chest to kill Jaden and form an even more powerful demon army. You have to stop them. There will be a bird, okay? So follow the bird, and it will lead you to them. I'm being summoned back. I must go. Well, it looks like I need to prepare for this fight against Illidan, and apparently there's some sort of bird that I'm gonna need to follow. Okay, I'm gonna keep my eyes out for that. I then use the the rest of my diamonds crafting all of my diamond armor and i went ahead and enchanted each piece i spent the next couple days traveling around and i found a new type of flower i had never seen this before so i went ahead and harvested it and it was called a purple lotus an exotic herb found in wet areas can be consumed to gain energy and endurance or crafted to a more potent form side effects may include invisibility interesting this could most definitely come in handy after harvesting the flowers i'd need to fight illidan i saw a bird in the distance this must be the bird that I need to follow. After a few days of travel, I finally arrived at what seems to be Illidan's lair. I could see a giant castle in the distance. And as I got closer, this is indeed Illidan's mansion. Now I just have to take him out. Hey, Illidan, you're going to regret doing that to my camp. And suddenly he jumped right towards me. Foolish mortal. I thought I slaughtered you at your puny base camp. Why do you return for more and tempt fate? I was tasked to eliminate you, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. You don't stand a chance with my upgraded gear, and I have the power of countless demon souls inside me now. So be it. Let the slaughter begin. After he charged past me, I used one of my silver leaves to heal back up as it did do three hearts of damage and he smashed the ground. And when I went back in for another hit, he threw his sword at me and then charged right through me doing six hearts of damage. I went back in, used my ability to get some damage on him and he threw his sword again and smashed the ground doing another six hearts. It's a good thing I've got a lot of these silver leaf blooms that heal me. You're no match for me. I used my ability to suck him back into place, but look, it wasn't doing barely any damage. How much health does this thing have? As I continued to fight Illidan, he started flying up in the air and his sword started spinning. What the heck's going on? And before I know it, there was two giant green elementals that I had to defeat and he started blasting lasers at me. You're weak. Give up! After healing up, I charged back in and I got about five or six good hits onto him, getting him to nearly half HP. What I didn't realize is he was doing a ton of damage to me, so I started running away and he launched me back, getting me to three HP, so I had to start eating a bunch of these leaves. As the fight kept progressing against Illidan, I kept doing a ton of damage and after he threw his sword, he slammed the ground and I went flying into the air. Okay, please don't die. Oh my gosh, good thing we have these extra hearts. It almost seems like as I keep fighting him, he's getting stronger and stronger. He's in this like like purple demon form now. I also noticed that there's green poison on the ground now, and there's a bunch of different swords on the ground spinning, doing tons of damage. I'm unkillable. And as I kept attacking, I noticed I was taking an insane amount of damage, and I kept getting hit constantly by all these swords and the poison. I used my ability to pick up Illidan from a distance and try to do a bunch of damage to him, but it didn't seem to be too effective on him, and he nearly killed me. At this point, I just used my last piece of healing. I have no more healing, and I knew I had to give it my all, otherwise I was going to die. And with a few more hits, I was able to eliminate Illidan Storm Rage. Oh my gosh, I, I actually did it. I, I defeated Illidan. That was the most difficult fight I've ever had. As you can see, I acquired his war glaives and the cloth that I'm going to use to make Illidan's armor. Well, well, I knew he was too weak. Why are you here? Why are you fighting? Join me. And we will conquer the Shadow Realms and beyond. There is no reward in demon hunting. You know you are one of us, deep down. Are you asking me to join you? After killing all your henchmen? Are you afraid, maybe? Is that, is that what this is? Are you mocking me, peasant? I could crush you with a finger and eat you for dinner. You should be lucky. I offered you anything. If death is your desire, so be it. What? Where, where the heck am I? I have no idea where I just got teleported to. I'm assuming this is something known as the Shadow Realm that he kept talking about, and it's filled with demons. This is a really bad situation to be in because I used all of my healing when fighting Illidan, and now there's a ton of demons, and I have no heals. I used my ability to suck them all into place and tried to use my distance to get some damage done to them, but there was just so many demons, I had to run. I figured the only way to survive all these demons was 
was to go invisible, so I went ahead and ate my purple lotus, and I took off all of my armor. Now that I was fully invisible, none of these demons were actually able to see me, and this is the only way I was able to survive, so I went ahead and started running away while I could. I went up to a really high platform, and as you can see, these demons were literally looking everywhere for me. I had to get the heck out of here. Time moves really fast in the Shadow Realm, and I knew I had to get the heck out of here. I was already in here for four days. And with no health potions left, I was already down to two HP with a ton of demons on top of me. I built up and got hit to one heart and jumped in the portal. Please work. Oh, where the heck am I? Oh my gosh, we're, we're safe. We have been trying to pull you out of the Shadow Realm for days now. You've been there for nearly a week. We saw the explosions of demons leaving the area, and we assumed you successfully killed Illidan. But then a darkness grew over the area, and we saw Kill Jaden approaching. What did he do to you? It's all so fuzzy, and I'm really exhausted, but he asked me to join the demons and become his right-hand man after I killed his henchmen. I would bet that he's scared. Their numbers are dwindling. Come with me, and I'll take you back to our camp. You need to prepare for the final push to cleanse the land. Oh, and before I forget, here's some more hearts. This should help you. Sweet, three more hearts? This is definitely gonna help. So, after a couple days travel, this Valkyrie finally led me back to her camp. Okay, this is not even a camp. This is like some sort of castle. This is insane. Wow, I can't believe I didn't find this place earlier. This place is massive, and it seems like there's a ton of demon hunters here. Definitely a great place to build my base. I definitely want to check out this place a little bit more, though. Dang, this place is really awesome. And by the looks of it, there's a nice open spot right here. I think this is actually where I'm going to build my base. And after a couple days of just exploring the town and checking out everything, I went ahead and put my demon slayer blade in there in hopes that one of these demon hunters would trade me for it. And once I turned turned around, there was an axe on the ground that actually seems like these guys like to trade. This axe was called the Holy Choppa, and it had efficiency 4 on breaking 5. Thank you, demon hunters. I appreciate it, my man. After some successful trading, I then went ahead and spent the rest of day 64 gathering a bunch of birchwood and other supplies to build my base. And after gathering all the required supplies, I then went ahead and started designing my base. And even though this entire area was mainly medieval themed, I didn't really have enough supplies to create that medieval themed look, so I stuck with my oak wood and spruce wood design. I thought I did a fairly good job on this base. I went ahead and made it two stories and finished off the roof. Now that my base is completed, I then went ahead and crafted all of my demon hunter armor. And as you can see, I am now wearing full demon hunter armor. This looks absolutely insane. As I was walking around base, I started to get really mad and saw all this red particles. What's going on? I can't control myself. What is happening? Whoa. Your health is cursed beyond saving. Okay, get, get me out of here. You're feeling the effects of the demon souls, aren't you? Nasty feeling. I had to stop at 12 hearts. I couldn't take it anymore. You stopped at 12 hearts? I'm at 18. I feel really out of control, but so strong. <laughs> Power comes with a price. Just be careful. Don't end up like the Banish Hunters. They live in the Demon Barracks now, under the mighty Kill Jaden. It seems like eating those Demon Souls for hearts is really taking a toll on me. I definitely need to relax and maybe do some harvesting. So I went ahead and traveled around our town, gathered a bunch of silver leaves, as I'm definitely going to need a bunch of healing if I am going to attempt to take down Kill Jaden. I just hope I can keep my emotions under control. These demon soul tablets is really making it hard for me to control myself. On day 69, I was headed back downstairs to check out some of the tents, and I noticed it was all being overrun by demons. Okay, what is going on? I need to put a stop to this right now before they wipe out my entire camp. And just like that, the fighting had begun. It seemed like my entire bottom floor of the camp has been completely overrun by these demons. I had to do whatever I could to try and defend myself and try to eliminate these demons as quickly as possible. I noticed that there was a bunch of demons trying to take out this person named Jess. Jess, get out of there. I'll hold them off. You start running. And it's a good thing I have my Vorglaves and my full set of demon hunter armor. Otherwise, I probably would have been demon meat. But since I was so strong, these demons weren't really much of a match for me. I was able to take them out fairly easily. Hey, Jess, I'm glad you're okay. Saving people like this makes me realize what I do what I do. It keeps me on the same mortal realm and not becoming a demon. And the very next morning, I woke up and instantly checked outside to make sure everything was okay, and I saw a Valkyrie out of nowhere. He then picked me up and started flying me up in the air. What the heck's going on? Hey, put me down. This Valkyrie flew really high up in the air, and there was some sort of island up here. Wait a minute. Where am I? We're really high up in the sky right now, and there's a bunch of other Valkyries. Awaken, young 
Your power has grown, and it is time to feast. After seeing a bunch of red everywhere, a bunch of demons started running at me, and I was really confused, because this is where the Valkyries lived. Okay, I don't know what just happened, but there's so many demons. I've got to take these things down. I was doing my best to take them all down, but there was too many, and they knocked me off the platform, and I fell all the way down. Oh god, this is not good. <laughs> And there I was, lying on the ground, with no idea what just happened. Yeah, I just remember a bunch of demons, and then I fell. I have no idea where I even am. I should probably just look around and see if I can find anything around here. After a few days of traveling in this weird-looking area, I ended up finding this building here, so I walked in and saw a demon in the middle. Hello, fellow demon. I love your energy today. Would you like to talk about our lord and savior, Kill Jaden? Fellow demon? Wait a second. Um, I mean, sure, I guess we can talk about Kill Jaden. Jaden? Word around the land is that Kill Jaden is fearing a powerful demon hunter and is trying to amass an army to take out this camp a few days away. They better be scared. Oh yeah, that camp. I think I've seen that maybe. You can't escape me, mortal. Trying to hide at an altar made for me. I've come here to talk to you. One last time, I know about your inner struggles. I know you are a demon deep inside. Join me, and we can take over this entire realm. I don't know what to feel anymore. Maybe joining you would be the way to power. Uh, what the heck's going on? What? Um, what happened? I thought you might have gone bad for a moment, but then I saw the conversation. I didn't know you were struggling so much. I knew you weren't bad. Thanks for snapping me out of that. I know where my true loyalties lie. Sometimes it's just really hard to control myself. I'm afraid they may try and attack our village now. We need to hurry back. All these demons you kill and souls you consume makes you stronger, but makes you lose your grasp on reality. Let's get back before it's too late. We then spent the next few days traveling back to our camp. Traitor! It's awfully bold of you to return here. Don't you think I saw what you did? Listen, when I went to the island, all the Valkyries turned into demons. It must have been the demon inside of me that was controlling me. My path is to defeat these mega demons that has been slowly corrupting me, and even worse, I think there may be an attack here soon. The lady here just saved me and snapped me out of it. I don't believe you. As long as you are gone by sunrise. And in the morning after I woke up, I heard an explosion. And when I looked down, I noticed it was infested with demons that were attacking all of the demon hunters. I had to do something about this. I had only just began the fight and I nearly died already. I had to start eating my silver leaves to regen my health. There was so much explosions and so many demons coming after me. I was not able to take them all down. I had to get the heck out of here. I didn't have that much blocks though, but I was able to build my way out of that situation and start running up here. I had no idea where all of these demons were even coming from. It just it seems like there was a never-ending amount of demons. I ran across this bridge and ran right into a tower and saw a ladder and used this as an opportunity to go up and hopefully they wouldn't be able to get me up here. After getting a few hits, an explosion happened outside which knocked me off the ladder which then I got surrounded. As I was getting surrounded inside, I began running outside and eating silverfish to survive and I saw more demons spawning in front of me. These demons were faster than me and they actually knocked me off the bridge while I was eating silver leaves to heal myself. Our camp was being overrun by demons all of our demon hunters were being taken out. I knew that there was one thing I had to do. I'm sorry and thank you for everything. I'm going to absorb all of the energy here as a last ditch attempt. I likely will not survive. Knowing I was likely going to die, I jumped down anyways, went to the middle of the demons, and at least all the energy I had within me from the demon souls. Oh, what happened? Wait, I'm alive? After the town saw what you did to save them, they knew you could be trusted. We spent a few days brewing this potion to try and save you. It's incredibly powerful, but it only lasts a few days. If you're not able to find and defeat Kill Jaden before the potion runs out, the demonic essence will absorb you. Okay, thanks for the heads up and thanks for this potion. What is this called anyways? Purifying Concoction. I'm going to head out now and I'm going to put a stop to this madness and chaos. Take care. I went ahead and drank this purifying concoction potion and I began my journey to go find and defeat Kill Jaden. I noticed it gave me jump and speed boost, which apparently lasts for three days. And after a few days of traveling, I arrived at this mysterious place that looks like it could be Kill Jaden's lair. The potion I drank was only supposed to work for three days, so I probably don't have much time left. As I approached closer, I saw Kill Jaden. And this is definitely his lair. Welcome back, mortal. 
or should I say, immortal. I sent all those demons, knowing you would kill them, absorb them, and finally become one with me. I'm smarter and stronger than you, and I've been waiting for you the whole time. You've fallen into my trap. And you will be joining me to slay your tiny village now. And that's where you made your mistake. You've gifted me the ultimate power. I'm able to control the demonic essence within, and I've become stronger than any enemy you faced. You will bow before me. What? That is impossible. No mortal could ever control that much essence. It's my turn now! And just like that, I ran in and attacked Kill Jaden, and he launched me back and spit this massive fireball at me. I honestly wasn't sure if I had the power to take down Kill Jaden, but my potion effects were still on, so I was able to do good damage. As I was getting some good hits on him, he pushed me back into this puddle of poison. I had to get out of this and use some of my healing. As we kept fighting, he launched another one of those green orbs into the air, and as soon as it lands, it explodes into flames. I definitely need to dodge those. I then was teleported straight across and thrown directly into the air and landed with half a heart. Okay, that was a little bit too close. Come on, we gotta eat some more silver leaves to heal up. These things do a lot of damage, whatever they are. And as you can see, I was pretty much trying to dodge and weave through all the fire and whenever I got hit, it would throw me all the way up in the air and I'd take a bunch of damage. Every time I get close, he'd launch me back and i just live with two and a half hearts. This was way too close. And suddenly there was a bunch of green particles and a bunch of different elementals spawned in front of me. Okay, what the heck is going on? Uh, dude, I swear this thing is getting stronger and stronger as we keep fighting them. The good thing is my Illidan Morglaves were able to take down those elementals pretty quickly, but dang, they did a lot of damage. As the fight continued, he was getting closer and closer to half HP, and he jumped in the air, smashing the ground. He then started floating in the air, and then a bunch of orbs were coming down. I thought it would be fire that came out, but no, it was a bunch of different demon mechs. Okay, come on, dude. Right when I thought this fight couldn't get any harder, there's now a bunch of mechs spawning. Thanks to my overpowered wargleaves, I was able to take down those mechs pretty easily, and it looks like Kill Jaden might be getting a little bit weaker because my damage is seeming to do a lot more to him. And with Kill Jaden being really weak, I unleashed an insane amount of damage onto him as he spawned a bunch of different elementals around me, and it looks like we eliminated Kill Jaden. Wow, now that was a close battle. After defeating Kill Jaden, I then spent the next couple days traveling back to my camp. On day 100, I finally arrived back at my camp, and suddenly everything started shaking. Oh no, not this again. What's happening? <laughs> Good morning, Jax. How are you doing? Wait, wait a second. Where am I? And wait. Jax? From my evoker video? Hold on a second. You're telling me that entire thing was a dream. Well, that was an interesting dream, and it looks like I'm gonna have to survive 100 days in the Arctic Ocean. I want to give a massive shout out to World of Warcraft for inspiring me to do this demon-only world video. All the bosses you saw in this video were completely inspired by World of Warcraft. I also wanted to give a special thanks to Arts by Kev, who I commissioned to make these boss models for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to download Monster Legends using the link in the description and click Collect your reward before October 25th. Take care, and I'll see you in the battlefield.